Hi, this is Mrs. Castanelli, and we're going to work in Photoshop again today, and we're going to make a collage. So let's go to File, New, and let's name this document Collage. You'll notice that I have the width and the height 6 by 6 because I want this image to be square, and I do want to have a white locked background layer. So here is our collage, 6 by 6 inches, and what we are going to do is place an image on this collage. So we're going to go File, Place. I have this daisy picture here. And when you first are placing, you have the option to resize this image at this location here. So I'm going to hold down Shift key while I resize. And I want to move this image to the upper quadrant here of my image. And then come up here and confirm the placement. So you can see here that I have an image. And over here on the layers, I have this white locked background layer and one daisy. Here's a great little keyboard shortcut. On a Mac, hold down the Option key and drag your image to the right or left. And what that does over here, you'll notice it takes a copy of this layer and produces a second copy of it. I'm going to go ahead and do that two more times. And let's move that up a little bit. And one more time this way. So now I have this fun little collage of these four images of this daisy. And you can see I have all the different layers over here. So if I come right here and um, I choose Layer, New Adjustment Layer, and I come here to Hue and Saturation, I can play around with the Hue and Saturation and change the color and the look of all of these daisies, which is kind of a fun thing to do. But what can also be very creative to do, so you notice that this hue and saturation layer is affecting everything underneath it. What if I move it halfway down? Now two of my daisies are one color and two are a different color. And now you can start being creative and moving some of them up one way or taking a different one and putting it down below. This is one way that you can use hue and an adjustment layer to affect only a portion of your images on your collage by having the ones below the hue and saturation hue and saturation layer are being affected the ones above are not and now i can go through and save this as a psd file and flatten it as a jpeg and have a fun collage